Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I just wanted to do a review of The Watermelon Woman. I know that I'm late to the game. This film was made in 1996 and for some reason I had just never heard of it until about two weeks ago. The film is written, directed and edited by Cheryl Dunier and it is thought to be the first ever feature film directed by a black lesbian. The film follows a woman named Cheryl and Cheryl is trying to piece together a documentary about black actresses in the 1930s and the 1940s and the film also explores Cheryl's current life as well as her trying to put this documentary together. What I liked about the film is it was just fresh, interesting and engaging and funny and so historically and socially important. I really don't have any critiques for this film, it is one of the freshest films I've seen Scene in a really long time and the sex scene is very 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 spicy. I would roll a clip but I'm on thin ice on this platform so no. One of the things that I learned in this documentary is that sometimes black actresses weren't even credited for their roles back in the 1930s and what's so incredible about this film is I feel like Cheryl Dunier has taken back her own narrative and it's why I'm such an advocate for women of colour using their own voice and creating their own films and their own books and speaking up about their own experiences because a lot of their voices have been stripped from them for so long. That's what I love about this film, it really puts Cheryl Dunier on the map but also gives some representation to queer and lesbian black women. To let you know how quintessentially 90s this film is, the character of Cheryl works in a VHS store. I have many memories of browsing the shelves in Blockbuster as a kid, renting, being John Malkovich for Catherine Keener and The Mummy for Rachel Wise. Okay guys, if you've seen the film, please let me know what you think of it in the comments. If you haven't seen the film, I highly recommend you go and watch it. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.